Calm down, Roach. Shit, I know. <laughs> Need to get to Skellige. Not on this boat, you won't. Pay you well. The islanders live off plunder in the seas. Not willing to risk that. <laughs> Tub. What's it to you? I'm Skellige bound. Need to get there. Start swimming. Islanders, the black ones, all attackers in those waters. No one sails the route these days. Come on. Clans are ready to deal. Leave you alone if you do. Someone's done it. Gotta have. Not likely. Except maybe that daft bastard Wolverstone from the Atropos. A liar, a thief, and a bugger, that one. He might have parlayed with the sea swine. Hmm. Where can I find him? 
in a pigsty most times. Others, the golden sturgeon. As for Flask, everyone knows him. Skelliger barbarians would have had us. such a hard time finding inspiration. 
you're right. Good pilot's dead. You, Wolverston, captain of the Atropos. So you want to know if I'm Atropos, captain of the Wolverston? No fucking clue, mate. I need to get to Skellige. My Atropos and me. We're due to sail for our Skellige. Carrying grain. But that's our shush. Got any coin? Here. That enough? Hefty sack. Like a bull's. When do we sail? Not sure you're ready. You can barely stand. Know this, stranger. Captain Wolverston never sails sober. The sea goes one way, Wolverston the other. Makes the rock unbearable. So, ready to set sail? Let's go. Ah, first, we must drink to the wind, to good fortune, and to the strength of my Atropos. Anchors away! Back off or I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm not afraid of dying. Uh, 
See, I've landed on Ord Skellig. How you figure that? You're wearing clan on crate colors. Ord Skellig's their island. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah. Thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. What about you? What do you seek in Skellige, eh? Agreed to meet a sorceress here. Yennefer of Vengerberg. She's supposed to be on Ord Skellig. There's a witch at Kertrolda. Croc's guest. Could be the one you're meeting. Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? If not for her tits, you think she was a beached orca? Fact is, even those who see her for a wench would gladly push her out to sea, tits and all. What's your name? Staingrim. Well, Staingrim, I don't like you. In fact, I feel like slapping you. Go ahead, Drifter. You try. Had enough? Best finish me now. Cause you'll be fucked once I catch my breath. It was a good fight. That's enough for now. Know the way to Kertrolda? I expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port site today. Your sorceress ought to be there too. Thanks. So long. Continental dandies come and drop you in. 
Ah, uh, where are you going? Take a hammer to you. Had time somebody to carry them. Take a hammer. If you have tried already. I wonder where they're going. Now they live at the bottom. On the shore at Larvae. This fierce game. Why can't I play today, Dad? We've got to go to the command in need. Farewell to King Brown. Seems to me you're passing. Our time amongst the living is but the wink of an eye. What's left when we are gone? Need not do this, child. I know, but I want to. Is madness. Such a young lass. Erna should be the one going. They shared a bed long Silence. It is her decision. You look beautiful. Thank you. Nice to see you again. The eulogy. King Bran of Clan Twirsech has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together, they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side and face the sea together. That will be a good day. You knew Bran? Yes. He was well respected. Unlike his wife. Skellige is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates? of care trolls stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach, dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. 
During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. Come to the wake with me. Gladly. Feasts in Skellige, so predictable. Slobbering drunks, brazen boasting, and the inevitable rows that result. Yeah, nothing like the banquets mages attend. Remember the one on Thanet? You were there. How could I forget? I also remember excruciatingly well what happened after the banquet. Reading my mind again? Hmm. What's more, I like what I see. Did you learn anything in Velen? How about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Ard Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Syria was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. Wait, Wolf! Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake. And I'll not accept any excuses. I've an important matter to discuss with you. I shall wear black and white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Krak, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go, choose something. In the meantime, I have something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. at his table. Sing his Greetings. Smooth seas this morning, as if the gods themselves were paying their respects to the great Konung Bran. You a tailor? I am. Only one in the Isles, most like. Gladly look at what you got. Wise man. No common rags among my wares. Take it you're good with scissors. Give me a haircut. Ain't something I usually do, but it wouldn't be right to turn down a traveller.
So long. room. She always did like space and luxury. Right. Just not something I'd ever wear. But what don't we do for us? Hmm. What exactly is she to me? Keep an eye on him. Wonder if he's as strong as he looks. Can you swing an axe? The best blade's not worth shite if a weak arm swinging an eight. Uh, uh. Ah, sure. You! Drink last night, too? 
and then we gotta drag their corpses out of the end. Bran was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's troubles very much derive from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. Geralt, a Witcher. Berna, Queen of Skellige. I'm glad we've met, but you must forgive me. Duty calls. Why am I not surprised? Oh, Geralt. Geralt, what is that you're wearing? Didn't want to detract from your beauty. A man at a woman's side is an accessory. He should enhance her beauty. But I thank you for the compliment. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him, we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. Geralt, do you think I donned an evening dress to show off for the seals? Just want to get some air. Very well. Once you've aired out thoroughly, find me by the entrance to the feast hall. What have you brought for the farewell feast? Bread, sheep's milk cheese. Hmm, all those years. I actually wondered what you'd look like. And? Disappointed? You've not changed at all. Expect me to? What, could have dyed my hair black? The Black Wolf, how's that sound? People change. Men go bald, or grow beards. Willing to let mine fill in, if you enjoy being scratched. Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. We wanted to talk to Krak on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Follow me, please. They've seated us here. I asked them to. I wanted to meet the notorious Witcher Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your face, mates. Allow me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand, Blue Boy Lucas, Madman Lucas's firstborn, and choking down a stockfish over there is Otric on Hindar. Forgive me, I remember our meeting all those years ago, but I don't recall your name. Ceres on Crate. 
crack her da and her big brother Yalmer call a sparrow hawk. But Yal's daughter she is. Fat lot of good it does her. Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Crack about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now that you mention him, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you're in. If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak, Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first, wins. I'm ready. You'll start when I sound the horn. One, but only by a hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the weak. Let's. See the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. I lost to a Witcher Sparrowhawk. It'd likely happen to any of us. Enough of the nather and let's drink. <laughs> to Ceres. Pass the mead and a tankard for the man. To Bran. Nay, he want for nothing in the world beyond. To my beautiful companion. You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. <laughs> Do you have no shame? Shame? Uh, Why would I? The queen should not join her king on this last journey. Just in the beast's head. The gods are not kind. Oh, my 